Prasar Bharati, in collaboration with National Book Trust India, presents Story Lounge on All India Radio. Contrary to popular perception, reading habits are not on the wane due to multiple sources of information emerging on digital platforms. Yet, book publishing is on a downslide. This ultimately affects people who are on the wrong side of the digital divide and cannot afford new gadgets. To support them, Prasad Bharati and National Book Trust have come together to promote books over the radio, which is an affordable medium in the context of our socio-economic milieu. Kavya makes up her mind. This is a story of a sweet, naughty little girl named Kavya. It's about her innocent questions, fun-filled rumbles and tumbles with her family and friends. Enjoy listening to it in the voice of the author Ramesh Bijlani, a publication of National Book Trust India. Kavya makes up her mind. Sweet children, I must have put this question to children a hundred times. Who amongst you does not like stories? Nobody ever raises her hand. Everybody likes stories, children and adults. I like them too. My name is Ramesh Bijlani. You may call me Ramesh Uncle. I have been living at Shyorbindu Ashram Delhi branch for 14 years. The story that I am about to tell you is based on my book, Kavya Makes Up Her Mind. This book was illustrated by Mohit Suneja and was published by the National Book Trust India in the year 2014. So, the title of the story is Kavya Makes Up Her Mind. Kavya is a girl about 10. What is it that she had made up her mind about? She had made up her mind to be a good human being. She had made up her mind all right, but to actually be good, let us see what a difficult test she had to go through. Kavya had in her class a girl called Adya. One day, Adya came to school with a beautiful hair clip which had the shape of a butterfly. Kavya liked the clip very much and wished she had one like that. When the school closed for the day, somehow it so happened that Adya and Kavya were among the last ones to leave the class. As Adya was going out, the clip slipped out of her hair and fell. Adya did not notice it, but Kavya, who was behind her, saw it. Kavya picked up the hair clip and was almost going to call Adya and give it to her but changed her mind. Kavya slowed down, slipped the clip into her bag and tried to look as if nothing had happened. Adya and Kavya travelled by the same school bus. In the bus, Kavya started feeling uneasy. She knew the uneasiness was because she had taken Adya's hair clip. Then started a chain of thoughts in her mind. I should tell Adya that she dropped the clip and give it to her. But I like the clip so much. I have stolen Adya's clip, that is wrong. No, I have not stolen it, she dropped it. If she dropped it, I could have told her at once. It is not my duty to tell her. If I didn't tell her, at least I should have left it where it was. If I left it where it was, somebody else would have taken it. If Adya had to lose it anyway, why not I get it? But it is wrong on my part to keep the clip. Adya is so careless. She should be more careful with her things. If she loses the clip, it will teach her a lesson. Adya will be so happy to get the clip back. Let me make her happy. But I like the clip so much. If I return the clip now, she will think I am a thief. She will ask why I didn't return it at once. Now I know what has happened. God loves me. That is why he made her drop the clip and he made me see it. Why should I try to give away something that God himself has given me? Soon, Adya got down from the bus. A few stops later, Kavya also got down. After reaching home, Kavya was rather quiet. Her mother asked her, Why are you so quiet? Kavya said, No, I don't think so. I'm fine. It's nothing, really. Then, Kavya tried to look cheerful. She also made a special effort to talk more so that nobody will ask her any more questions. The next day, Adya said to the teacher, 
Yesterday I lost my hair clip in the school. The teacher said to the class, "Yesterday Adya lost her hair clip in the school. Did anyone see it?" Everybody kept quiet. Kavya also kept quiet but started feeling very uneasy inside. The teacher said, "Maybe one of you saw it and picked it up because you didn't know whose it was. Now that you know whose it is, please give it back to Adya." Everybody kept quiet. Kavya also kept quiet but started feeling still more uneasy inside. The teacher said, "Sorry Adya, nobody saw your hair clip. You should be more careful with your things." Kavya felt very relieved. She said to herself, "I had also thought Adya should be more careful with her things. The teacher has said the same thing. Now the matter is closed." However, Kavya was not happy for very long. She could not understand why she continued to feel uneasy. The clip traveled home in her bag again. At home, Kavya was quite normal on the outside, but inside she was very uneasy. She couldn't understand why. Once the matter was closed, why it kept coming up again and again? Something deep within told her that the matter will be really closed only when she speaks the truth and returns the clip to Adya. She remembered that she had made up her mind to be a good person. A good person does not steal. If a good person makes a mistake, she speaks the truth. Now the matter was closed. She knew what she had to do. The clip traveled with her to school once more. In the school Kavya kept thinking when to do and how to do what she had decided to do. If she goes to the teacher and speaks the truth, the teacher might still punish her for stealing. If she speaks the truth in front of the whole class, the class will hate her for being a thief. She decided that she will simply return the clip to Adya when nobody else is watching. But such an opportunity never came and in the meantime Kavya's uneasiness kept increasing. She was unable to pay attention to what was going on in the class. She remembered that she had decided to be a good person. Then she had another chain of thoughts. A good person does the right thing even if she faces punishment. A good person does the right thing no matter what. For me, there is only one right thing to do. The right thing is to speak the truth and return the clip. Now the matter is finally closed. Kavya felt she had suffered enough. It was getting too much for her. Therefore, she didn't want to delay the matter any more. Kavya immediately got up and said to the teacher quickly in one breath, "Ma'am, I made a terrible mistake the other day. I saw Adya's hair clip drop. I picked up the clip that was wrong. I kept the clip for so many days that was wrong. I didn't speak up even when you asked the class that was wrong. I have been feeling very bad all these days." Now I want to speak the truth. I want to return the clip to Adya. You may give me any punishment you like for all the wrong things I have done. Then Kavya started crying as she put her hand in the bag to take out the clip. She took the clip out and turned to Adya to return the clip. For a few very very long moments there was complete silence. The teacher put her arm around Kavya and told her, "I can see how much you have suffered." because of the wrong things you did that is punishment enough and i will not give you any other punishment how are you feeling after speaking the truth kavya said i am now feeling very light as if a big burden is off my head the teacher said that is your reward for doing the right thing i will not give you any other prize either and she gave her a loving smile as kavya was giving the clip to adya adya did not move her hand towards the clip instead adya said if you like the clip so much you may keep it what is a little clip between friends i know where to get another one from if i want it a wave of relief traveled through the class a bubble of joy enveloped the classroom suddenly everybody in the class was all smiles and clapped you were listening to story lounge produced by the world service of all india radio on behalf of prasad bharati in association with national book trust india story launch comes to you every day same time same channel